We are watching JK live. Remember, I'm sitting in for Jeff Koinange tonight, and I'm very glad to be sharing uh, <laughs> the bench with Golda here. That's what you told me I should call you, right? Yeah. Okay, so I want to um, share some of the messages that are coming in here for you. Um, somebody's here saying, wow, so inspired by the Golden Girl. I am working on my PhD project have done in sewing as I watch the show and have now learned from her that I need another PhD, which is prayers, hard work and discipline to succeed in whatever I do. Bravo. This is Brenda Onono. So see, your message has stuck. And you were sharing with me that you're an orator and you really are good at it. Um, so, you know, and, and just looking at what somebody here has, has, has written to us, uh, your, your messages are very, very inspiring and people actually listen. So to share with us about being an orator and where that passion came from. Um, I love watching shows, um, shows where live streaming and all that. And another thing is that um, I had this calling that was once in school when I was told to speak before parents. It was an AGM. And uh, I was tensed. I was shaking and saying, what am I going to say? But um, I prayed and said, God is going to tell me what to say. God is going to speak through me. So from then on, I gained that confidence of standing before people. I gained that confidence of speaking out, saying whatever comes. and. Most of the time, whenever I speak, I never write speeches. I only wrote a speech once. Mm -hmm. but what did you tell the AGM in summary? Um, it was just a matter of uh, thanking the parents for their cooperation and congratulating the school directors for the work they've, they've been doing, the teachers too, and motivating other pupils to work harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to talk to mom and dad and dad let's 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 begin with you your receiving of these new of, of the news that Golda here had done so well your reaction how did you receive this news what was your reaction what did you do immediately after uh, <clears throat> my 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 daughter has been very consistent in performance in school so I knew she would uh, do well but I didn't know that she would be at the top of everybody in the in the republic. So when I was looking at, I got out of my office and went to my house to see the results. And I was seeing other people's names on TV. My daughter's name was not showing up that time. So I was wondering what is happening. You could she be among those who performed very poorly? <laughs> and uh, they said the first the first candidate got a. Uh, 455 but the name was not showing up on TV so when I was going back to the office my wife called me and told me that uh, the top boss girl is our daughter I was very happy I went back to the office and uh, it was people were just wondering why what I was doing I was just very happy looking <laughs> at people with even my walking style changed <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were bouncing I was bouncing <laughs> and then hey, Tanga, you look very happy today I said, yes my daughter has done it yeah she's the Meeting is a topmost girl in the Republic. Mm -hmm. So everybody started screaming where I was working and I, I felt so thrilled, very happy. Yeah. Yes. And I must thank you uh, because, uh, you know, irrespective of the fact that everybody is calling and asking for interviews, you found time uh, to pick my call and to talk to me and you obliged us with this interview. So we are extremely grateful for that. To your mommy, uh, receiving this news um, for you, when did you learn of her? you know, good performance, did this come as a shocker to you and what was your reaction? Okay, actually, Molly, on Monday evening, I, there was rumor on social media that uh, the KCP res results would be coming out the following day. And uh, Goldalyn had gone to visit uh, her grandmother, my mom, uh, in Iten. And uh, now I started asking myself, if the results are really to come out because I didn't see anything on the news, any mention of the results coming out. So I was doubting. Then I started calling the teachers, trying to find out. They were not also aware. So they started asking uh, their colleagues from other schools. And one of them, who is a class teacher, called back and said, uh, Mama Golda, most likely it's like the results are to come out tomorrow. And, uh, and then I told him, do you know something? Goldalin is very far away from here. 
she is in Elgeo Marakwet County. Now, what will happen if the results come and she is not there? Mm -hmm. So the teacher told me, Mama Golda, don't tell me what you are just saying. We want that girl here tomorrow. Yeah. So I called mom, I told her, prepare the girl. Very early in the morning, let her start moving. Let her travel back. And uh, for sure, uh, very early in the morning, Golda Lim with her cousin, the one they were traveling with in the same vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, a cousin by the name uh, Felix Kemboy. Uh, they came along the way. I was also on duty. I, I usually teach ECD yeah. uh, teachers over the holidays. Mm -hmm. So I was having a class, but I was so tensed. I could see it's 455 in the staff room, but I was supposed to attend to a lesson. So I kept asking, are the lines uh, open for us to, to inquire for the results? And uh, they were saying they are still closed. So I was to go to class, but I was not able to teach. But when I arrived in class, I told my students, you will excuse me today. I'm expecting some good results. Oh. The teachers are calling me, and every time you see me going out, please just understand. Yeah. <laughs> and because they are mature students, they were very understanding. They told me, Madam, we have no problem. Uh, with that so they kept calling i went out received calls so when i send the, the when they said now you can ask uh, inquire from uh, uh, neck how this your student had performed i sent a message it was not forthcoming the teachers were sending because she was index one nothing was forthcoming then one of the teachers called me and asked me do you have a airtel line i said yes please can you try and send oh. through Airtel because it's like Safaricom is... Uh, it was jammed actually, was that's jammed. true, so there was a delay. That yes. is why it's, not, it's delay. Mm -hmm. So I just did it in front of the class as I was teaching. I just sent the message. And then almost immediately, the results were there. Then I looked at it like this. I didn't even see the subjects. <laughs> I just saw 455. Five. Then I looked at it like, uh, really? And then uh, the students discovered that uh, there was something. You were so, just smiling. <laughs> so they told me, Madam, what is it? <laughs> then I told them, I don't know, but it is like uh, my daughter has emerged the top student in this year's KCPE. Then they told me, the one with 455. I said, yes, 455. So the whole class jumped up they were screaming they were hugging me so everybody in college was asking what is wrong with that class they're yeah. making a lot of noise <laughs> so we were so happy yeah and uh, i could no longer the lesson could not go on so i went to the staff room mm -hmm. and i immediately left uh, for school because i work in bungoma mm. so, and uh, kakamega county where she is is very far so i had to do my best meanwhile as i'm traveling to, to her school, Golali is not yet in school. Wow. Because when I received the results, I called the father and uh -huh. then I called the, the yeah. school. And I forwarded the results to both. Now, I'm not there. Golali is not there. The father is not there. Now they're asking, where is Golda? And who is this girl? Uh, media houses are asking, where is she? So as they were waiting for her, they inquired which vehicle is she in. She had uh, boarded a uh, uh, royal... Royal Rift from Eldoret. To That's a shuttle? Yeah, yeah. to mm -hmm. Kamega. So because they were getting impatient, they waited for her at uh, Kambia Mwanza Junction. That is where we alight as we go home to West Kenya. Mm -hmm. So they physically uh, removed her from the vehicle. <laughs> the, media, the journalists are <laughs> always quick <laughs> they are to, two, three, to rush yeah, to the scene. Houses. Yeah. Now they went slowly to school with her. Mm -hmm. And uh, now people are wondering in the vehicle, you mean this girl is the one who... She had her name, by the way, on radio, while in the vehicle. And in Bungoma, as we were fueling the car, I just had Kakuya, and I said, hey, it's, it's her. Mm -hmm. So I was so impatient yeah. as I uh, tried uh, reaching school, mm -hmm. but I finally arrived there and we started celebrating and I must say we were really happy. Yeah. 
happy. We are really happy and we appreciate it. Golda, to you, I mean, all this attention that you're now getting um, and the challenge there lies therein because you're now transitioning to another phase, how to sustain this and how not to lose focus? Because the challenge with a lot of children um, that have performed very well um, in their standard eight is that that excitement sometimes takes over and when they transition to secondary school um, they sort of slacken we certainly hope this will not be the case for you but i hope you are aware that this is a story that has been told before where top students children that performed very well go to secondary school and they slacken when you need to realize that, you need to realize that um, what, like scoring such high marks, being the best pupil in Kenya in KCPE, it was not by me, but it was by God's grace, that is one. So it should not instill that pride that I'm better than others, I'm not better than them, I'm not more special, I'm just like them, it's just that it is by God's grace that I'm here. Mm -hmm. So you should also look forward, I still have many more years in education my journey does not end here so it's a matter of realizing that this is not the end you still have tougher challenges coming up you still have a long journey ahead of you right and let's talk about the reforms in the um, education sector um, because you sat the mock and previously, of course, um, you were able to interact with other standard aides who were about to sit for their finals. Exam cheating. Perhaps persons in the education sector, parents, teachers don't understand why students, why pupils resort to cheating. From those that you've interacted with and those that you've actually maybe, and I may be wrong, seen uh, resort to the more Kenyas. Okay, we call them more Kenya <laughs> in campus. For those who um, resort to cheat, what, what is the driving force behind that, would you say? Um, the leading factor might be the pressure from parents. Um, I think parents should, uh, should rate their children, should rate their children as in how they can perform and accept it. Because if you give a child um, a high rank or give that child um, a high target, Yet the child cannot get there. The child resolves to cheat because my parents are nagging me. I have to get these marks. I mm -hmm. have to do this. Mm -hmm. So I have no other choice. Mm -hmm. See? So right. they resolve to cheat. That is one. And two, the other people that it's not, it's not their wish to te cheat. But teachers lacking confidence in them make them cheat. A teacher comes to your class instead of uh, letting you do the exams he starts telling you the answers and all that mm -hmm. the la that lack of confidence in your students mm -hmm. also leads to cheating in exam right and we'll be taking your messages on twitter and as well as your sms's we have them ready now golda this is for you take a look let's uh, take a look um you're saying um Glemelon, you're saying congratulations, Goldalyn Kakuya, for the exemplary performance. You are going to places. God has a big plan over your life. Congratulations, young girl. I'm sure you are an inspiration to many girls outside there. May God see you through every step of your life. Zephan that's Zephania. Sol Rexton, you're saying she's not just golden. She's an epitome of brightness. Congratulations, the world golden girl wow uh peter nyamari phd re redefined prayer hard work and discipline i cannot agree more ken twiri goldalyn kakuya has proved why she deserved to be the best by how she's expressing herself very articulate for a 14 year old kudos golda she's a perfect example of why we should embrace education Wendy Gekonge, congratulations Golda on your excellent performance, your encouragement to so many people, from your peers to adults, your confidence is admirable, may you excel. And to your SMS's now, Cynthia Koech from Nakuru County, congratulations Golda, may your stars continue shining bright, you've taught Kenyans that a girl child can also rule the nation. Who knows? You might be the first lady president of Kenya. 
uh, Kefa, you're in Rumuruti. Goldalin Kakuya, thanks very much. You are the queen of Kenya. <laughs> oh, God. And Jane, you're saying congratulations to our daughter from our blessed Kakamega County. Yeah. Rose, congratulations for the wonderful performance. Remember that the sky is the limit. And Lynn to the Golden Girl. I'm Lynn. I'm studying at Alliance Girls High School. Congratulations on your success. I pray that you make it to join my school. Wow. You already have a dorm mate there. Um, on Facebook. Um, now I see why she scored 99% in English. She's perfect. This is Wanjiko Kimondo. That's true, Wanjiko. I totally agree with you. Cheronong uh, teach thumbs up. You rock Golda. May God see you through everything. Trisha Azenga, the happiness of a parent is to see their kids making them proud. And Miriam Favor, congratulations, Golden Girl. You will rise to greater heights. God bless you. Thank you. So all this attention that you're getting, Golda, I mean, you just told me earlier, people are taking selfies with you at the airport. Everybody is saying your name. This is a far cry from how we started this um, conversation with you telling me how some people would be mean sometimes. All this attention, how is this making you feel? How are you responding to all of this attention? It makes me feel great because right now the attention I'm getting, it's not all that negative, it's positive. As in they're looking at me as a girl who has excelled and not as a girl with special needs mm -hmm. yeah and um it's motivating um most of them say that tell me that when you get to high school don't slacken yeah we want to see you four years from now being the girl that you've seen you right now mm, somebody yeah. is saying that you could actually be the first female president of kenya that's about uh, <laughs> a decade from now yeah yeah um I don't really think I'll be the first female president because women are rising really fast. Maybe I might be the first I'll president with albinism. Wow. I can take that. <laughs> <laughs> and who do you look up to? Now that you're talking about women, um, who do you look up to? A lot of people are saying the girl child has made us very, that this is a testament that the girl child can be the future of this nation in terms of leadership. For you, which woman, and not just necessarily in Kenya, but who do you look up to? Um, there's this lady, an iron lady, I may say, really successful. And uh, Dr. Dr. Prabha Choksi, mm -hmm. the founder of uh, Dr. Choksi Albinism Foundation, wow. an ophthalmologist at Aga Khan Hospital, Nairobi. Mm -hmm. She's been my motivation. She's been uh, in partnership with NIC Bank. They've been paying my school fees from 2015 uh, through the foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's motivated me because I met this girl called Grace. And she stood out. She was confident. She was cute, and um, that motivated me to. Where did you meet Grace, really and, and, and what do you share in common with Grace? Um, I met Grace at Aga Khan Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the first time I also met Dr. Choksi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was my first time uh, at the hospital, and uh, at that time I was to be. I was to join the foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, Dr. Choksi, you've got a big, big fan here. But you um, see, my success has come about from the support from so many people. My relatives, um, small mom, Aunt John, big mom, Aunt Sylvia, Uncle Nick. The teachers also, the teachers in school have been yeah. loving. Uh, I've had almost, I've had the best directors mm -hmm. because he could call me in his office and say, Goldalyn, I want you to tell me which, which concept and in which subject are you having a problem? And he was seated there with the head teacher and he told me, I want you to write that so that I could give this head teacher to discuss in class that, because that can also help your friends. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, having such, giving such attention to pupils, not only I, but also the others, builds up the child it motivates the child and congratulations so, indeed to the teachers good job i mean they really 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 did and you're saying it's not only to you but to the other pupils as well the approach was that once you see potential you single out a student and ask them what is it that they're struggling with yeah so i'd really like to congratulate the directors mm -hmm. mr and uh, mrs lanziva 
for their support. I'm really grateful to the teachers from the head teacher, all the subject teachers from the head teacher, Mr. Mukoya, Mr. Gustin Manyengo, teacher Samson. They had nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> teacher Bwire, Mr. Salim. They had, so what were their nicknames? Okay. You know teachers, by um, the way, you don't know. You, don't, you guys are teachers. You don't know the names these children call you. Some of them are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> like, for example, our head teacher, Mr. Mukoya, most of them would refer to him as Mukesh. Uh -huh. Like when he was up, he was he's a very strict man. So when he was approaching, you just hear people saying, Mkesh ndo you, Mkesh ndo you. <laughs> and people would quieten. And he would come and stand at the window, uh -huh. stare for a while, then go on. And uh, the, um, the deputy head teacher, Mr. Augustine, um, he was called MKM, Malaika Kasorumbao, an angel without wings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he used to tell us. Oh, so, because he's such a wonderful person. Yeah, so oh. um, we had Tisha Samson. Yeah. He was called Simply Sam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we also had a girl in our class whose acronym was Sam, Stacy Anyolo Mwaka. Okay. Um, and had, you, what did they call you? I just Golda. Just I preferred Golda. it when they called me Golda. Yeah. Because people can be judgmental mm -hmm. if they say that you're a performer and all that. Maybe like for example you've passed an examination. Maybe you don't want to tell people because people will say that she's bragging or something like that. And when somebody asks you and you tell it to them, somebody may say hmm, she's also bragging. So yeah. people are judgmental. It's just a matter of seeing how you can handle all of them but for now if i were you i would be riding with this this is a big deal and you need to celebrate it there's nothing to be humble about this um Golda. this is a huge moment for you and i'll be coming to you as we close um to you sir and lady harrison i want to start um with you because this is a huge family this is a huge moment for you as a family yeah. so i mean your daughter is here she's being celebrated nationally uh, the chicken in kakamega are really really dying as we speak. I've, I've received a chicken. Oh, you have? Yes. Somebody sent you a chicken? That's my cousin. Yeah, <laughs> like this. Oh, well, big up to the people in Kakamega. So, to you, um, Dad, Harrison, your message to your daughter as she transitions to this now very um, serious stage in her life as a teenager, um, looking forward to her future, she's going to be transitioning um, to whatever national school will select her or where she will be um, <laughs> slated to, 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 to spend the next four years for. Your message to her and indeed your advice to other parents who have candidates, be it um, in KCSE, in KCPE. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I love my daughter and uh, I have given her relentless support as a father. I have told her that perform well, always be at the top of in, the, in the class. She has topped up in the nation. And uh, after this performance, I even told her that now I want you to go and read very hard so that you realize your dream. I will use all the resources at my disposal to ensure that your dream is realized. So what I'm saying is that uh, I'm very happy. I'm telling her that work hard. Mm -hmm. The journey has just started. You're based in Kakamega. Her preference is is um, here in Nairobi. Will yeah. that be too far for you? Are you okay with her? I I'm okay. I'm okay. I will be visiting her <laughs> <laughs> regularly. Yeah. Uh, as the circumstances allow. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to you, Matilda, as well as a mother, um, having watched your little girl now transition into a young lady who has made the country so proud and indeed all the women of this nation um, what would you be what would be your, your your words to her and indeed to the other parents out there um, that have candidates um, that are incoming okay I would wish to share with parents out there who have maybe children in class 7 class 6 I just want to urge these parents to love their children support them financially socially and i would also wish uh, that parents befriend their children because once you are a friend to your child they're not going to hide mm -hmm. anything from you they'll always share their pains they'll share their happiness and they'll be free to tell you anything because a friend you can tell them anything but if parents become very strict to their children the children shy away and uh, when they have their secrets which may be bad secrets they'll not share with their parents mm -hmm. and finally 
by the time the parents discover that uh, something is going wrong, maybe they'll have lost uh, their child. Mm -hmm. And uh, to Goldalin, Goldalin uh, knows how much uh, I love her and I have confidence in her. As she was going to sit for a KCP, I had no doubt of her good performance. So the only thing I was cautioning Goldalin about was overconfidence. Mm -hmm. I just told Golda, there is nothing that I can tell you. I just want you to remain calm. Don't be overconfident because mm -hmm. I know you will perform well. But if you become overconfident, you may not give us the marks uh, we are expecting. Mm -hmm. So I still believe in her and I know when she goes to high school, she will still do well. We'll keep encouraging her and uh, so that at the end of four years, she comes back here again for an interview. Yes, and I'm sure she will. And just before um, I, I, I hand over to, to Golda, your itinerary in the next coming days, um, I know everybody is really on your case because of the, this big story. What are the next few days looking like for you? Do, do you have plans as a family um, to perhaps celebrate with your daughter somewhere? What are, do you want to take a more quiet um, time reflecting as a family as you wait for her to transition? What are your plans? Okay, first of all, Lilian, uh, right now we have invitations from different media houses. KTN want to see her, NTV, K24. In fact, K24 came home. Mm -hmm. They gave her an interview, an interview from uh, our home. And uh, we are meeting many people. Um, there is an albinism uh, group of friends. Yes who want uh, to celebrate Goldalin tomorrow mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in Nairobi. That's the Albinism Society of Kenya. The Albinism Society yes. of Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also a disability uh, group, people living with disabilities. A National Council of People Living with Disabilities. They also want uh, to celebrate Goldalin on 7th of, uh, of December. So there are many, many invitations. Mm -hmm. So we want to see how we plan our time mm. so that uh, when we are through with the, the media attention, the limelight, we'll go back home and uh, give throw a party for Gondalin. A, a major one. Yeah, because she deserves it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I hope I'll get an invitation anyway. <laughs> I won't just show up. So, um, you know, talking about confidence, we are closing now, Goldalyn. Um, talking about confidence, when you were coming to studio, I spoke to my director, Monica, and I told her, you know, she's a small girl, she's 14, I want to spend some time with her, gel with her, because she might get a little bit nervous when she sits on the bench. You came here, and you've wowed our viewers you are not in the least bit shy and i want to show you just what i mean when i tell you golda is not shy this is about a couple of minutes after meeting her let's take a look at my moment of glory because i got to take a photo with a celebrity let's take a look <laughs> that is you look at that pose oh my god <laughs> So thanks for that. I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad. All over Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> this 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 is my moment as well. I'm really proud of you. I celebrate you, and I'm so glad you. Um, you found time to be with us today. Of course, uh, together with your parents, amazing parents, and their supporters just a testament that really that goes a long way in shaping uh, the development of children. Your p parting remarks as we close, we've talked a lot ever, about a lot of issues. Um, we've talked about your growing up, your challenges, overcoming that. What would you like your parting shot to be? Um, I'd like to, I'm celebrating my brother, Max, and um, Raquel. I'm also celebrating my sister who is now who's sitting for KCSE. Benny, if you're anywhere watching this, or if there's any teacher from your school watching this, just pray hard, be confident, don't be nervous, don't be overconfident, just be yourself, tackle that exam like never before, I'll be praying for you. And then uh, this is to the Albinism Society of Kenya. Thank you for your support for the sunscreen, the lip balm, the capes. We are so grateful as people living with albinism for your support, for standing with us. Thank you so much. From Maura to Mumbingugi to Grace, thank you so much. Waidera. And uh, this to the government of Kakamega because you have such a nice governor, Opara. You have a nice governor. Opara. <laughs> Opara, yeah. Opara, yeah. Governor Oparanya, you've just been nicknamed Opara. Okay, so 
Thank you so much because yesterday we were celebrating to the county government so yes. they also invited us today mm -hmm. and uh, thank you so much for the support you've got from the government of Kakamega. Thank you so much. To all the people who've supported me, thank you. There's so many. I can't mention all of them. Yeah. There are so many. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Oh, <laughs> give me a high five. You're like a little adult, you know, you're very well spoken. Thank you very much. We've been talking to KCPE top scorer 2017, Goldaline Kakuya from St. Anne's Junior School in Lubao in Kakamega. She was accompanied by her parents, that is Harrison Webo Tanga and Matilda Cherono. Hunger. Thank you so much for being on the JKL Live. I'm sure Jeff would have loved to meet you. He'd have been, <laughs> he'd have been doing his usual. I would have been really excited in meeting him. Yeah. 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 This is I'll tell him. I'll pass. Live. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. <laughs> he really says that. What does he say? This is Jeff Koinange Live. <laughs> with that toast voice i love it <laughs> i love it and i'm sure you get an opportunity to meet him in the future thank you so yeah. much you are such a blessing we thank, thank you for being with us and we wish you all the very best i'm sure you'll continue to shine very very high thanks for joining us golda thank you that's it on jk live the hashtag is jk live we thank you so much for your feedback i was sitting in for jeff koenange this evening he'll be back with you next week my name is lillian muli good night